Here's a tea. A lot of cringeworthy things happened this year. And most of the time, straight people were to blame. From people in power playing God and claiming to cure AIDS. Yes, it's Trump. To gender reveal parties that are literally killing people. To an entitled Hollywood star saying she could play any character. So versatile, she can even play a tree. This year got us marinating in bitterness. Welcome to Salty Queers, extra's take on pop culture and political news that had us quaking all year round. I'm Marvin O'Keen, Associate Editor at Extra. And I'm Erica Lenti, Senior Editor at Extra. We're talking about the top four stories that made us roll our eyes and see red in 2019. So grab a glass of water, because you'll need to hydrate. First up, a moment of silence for people who believe environmentalism is kinda gay. This summer, researchers from Pennsylvania State University found that men who used tote bags were seen as big homosexuals. No homo, bro. Just trying to carry my deli meats home. Men and women in the study said they felt less comfortable around tote-carrying men, who they identified as less straight. The world's burning, but I guess Becky still needs her man-loving plastic bags. Men who recycle were also seen as super gay, and men surveyed were more likely to think women who did masculine things, like sealing windows, were gay. Poor Diane thought she was saving on her energy bill. Turns out, she's been role-playing as a lesbian. Speaking of role play, this year Scarlett Johansson said she wants to play a tree. She already played a Japanese character in Ghost in the Shell in 2018, and she took a role as a trans man, but dropped that after backlash. Yeah. Well. Now she says she should be allowed to play any role that comes her way. In an interview with SF Magazine, she said that means any race, gender, and her object. Here's a visual of ScarJo's potential roles as presented by emojis. She's fueled by supreme care and energy. As it turns out though, she learned a thing or two. Uh, in a new interview with Vanity Fair, ScarJo admitted she was uneducated on trans issues and why cis actors playing trans roles was problematic. We know that there's been plenty of discussion this year around who gets to play trans roles, and Scarlett Johansson is not one of those people. This story could be summarized in three words. What a mess. Speaking of messes, let's talk about everyone's favorite miracle worker, Donald Trump. At one of his rallies this summer, Trump said that if he is re-elected, he will end the AIDS epidemic in the USA, quote unquote, shortly. We will be ending the AIDS epidemic shortly in America and curing childhood cancer very shortly. But just like Trump's other claims, this one is baseless. Experts say it's actually not a bad plan. The goal is doable, but daunting. But Trump hasn't committed anywhere close to enough money to make it work. The president also keeps trying to cut Medicare and Medicaid programs that allow many Americans to afford PrEP and anti-HIV medication. Given the Trump administration's lack of support for LGBTQ2 communities, especially this year, we're not convinced. Sorry to this man. We're also not convinced that the ludicrous tradition of celebrating baby anatomy will end anytime soon. We're talking, of course, about gender reveal parties. <laughs> the straights have gone too far this year, and by too far, I mean literal manslaughter. In October, a 56-year-old Iowa woman was killed when her family accidentally built a pipe bomb while trying to make a color-filled gender reveal explosion. But unfortunately, this is not the first time gender reveals have gone wrong. They've caused massive explosions, car accidents, and even forest fires. It's time to stop the straights, folks. This is getting out of hand. <sighs> Arvin, I am exhausted. And thirsty. That was a lot of salt for one video. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, we'll be back in 2020 fully hydrated and ready to call out some more clownery. See you then. Bye. Bye.